Hi, welcome back. This is week four, lesson two. And we are continuing with our African theme this week. Uh, you might notice I have a little instrument next to me today. This is a drum and it's a drum from West Africa. It's called a djembe drum. It's uh, spelled D-J-E-M-B-E, -E, djembe. And we know it's a djembe drum because the shape of it is kind of like a goblet. And then you see these string, the strings on the side. Yeah, that tells us that it's a djembe drum. So I'm gonna use this West African drum while telling you a West African folk tale. And this is, it's called the Leopard's Drum. But I want your help uh, with this tale today. I need you to um, get something to be a drum for you. If you have a drum at your house, Awesome, get it, let's use it. If you don't have a drum at your house, which I'm guessing a lot of you don't, you can always use like a large cooking pot. Um, or if you don't have anything like that, you can always just use your lap, right? So here's what you have to do. There is a magic word in this folktale, and the magic word is drum. What did I do when I said the word drum? I hit the drum, didn't I? So every time I say the word drum, I want you to play your drum, okay? Whatever you're using for a drum, whether it be an actual drum or your lap. Um, and then there's a bunch of different animals in our folk tale, uh, and we're gonna play our drum to represent those animals. The first one we have is a snake. And the snake, you're gonna take your hand and rub the top of your drum. Hear how that sounds like the, drum, the snake is slithering? Yeah. So we want to make that snake slither. And then we also have a, an elephant. Now are elephants big or small? They're big, aren't they? So when they walk, it's probably pretty loud, right? So when our elephant is in our story, we need to make our drum loud. Okay? And then we also have a monkey in our story. And when our monkey comes, we're going to take our fingertips and we're going to kind of just pat the sides. have our uh, we have a little tortoise and a tortoise is like a turtle but our tortoise is a very small tortoise and do tortoises move uh, fast or slow they move slow of course right and this is a small one so when our tortoise she's a girl when she steps is it gonna be loud yeah so There's a few other spots that we might use our drum for sound effects, but just do what I do and uh, you'll be just fine. All right, here we go. The leopard's drum. Did you play your drum? I hope so. Osebo the leopard was fierce, proud, and boastful. He made a huge drum and he played it every day. Animals came from near and far to see it. It was a magnificent drum, the best they had ever seen. They all wished it belonged to them. Even Nayame, the sky god, wanted it. Osebo, he said, I should have a drum like that. Will you give me your drum? No, said Osebo. Will you lend me your drum? No, said Osebo. Will you at least let me try your drum? But. <laughs> But Osebo said, no. You should respect me, Osebo, said the sky god. Animals of the forest, whoever brings me that drum will get a big reward. And Naomi, the sky god, disappeared. Okay, here comes our snake. The next day, Onini, the python, went to get the drum. Looking for me, Onini? Oh, uh, no, Sebo. Uh, I was just looking at this fine drum. This huge drum. This magnificent drum. Good day, Sebo. And he slithered off. 
The next day, Isono, the elephant, came to get the drum. Looking for me, Isono? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, Sabola. <laughs> I was just looking at this fine drum. <laughs> this huge drum. <laughs> this magnificent drum. <laughs> Goodbye, Sable. And he ran off into the jungle. Do you remember which animal this one is? The next day, something strange moved slowly through the forest. The animals were puzzled. Some were frightened. What is it? Whatever could it be? It was Asaroboa the monkey going to get the drum. He was wearing a mask and hoped that Osebo wouldn't see him behind it. Looking for me, Asaroboa? Ella, <laughs> no, Sabo, just uh, looking at your fine drum, <laughs> your huge drum, <laughs> your magnificent drum. <laughs> and he ran off into the jungle. Last of all, Archie Cherry, the tortoise, went to get Osebo's drum. You haven't got a chance, the other animal said. Not a titchy little weedy little creature like you. It was true. Achicheri was very small, and in those days her shell was quite soft. She had to watch out that careless animals didn't squash her flat. Well, I'm gonna try anyway, she said. Looking for me, Achicheri? Not really, Osebo. I was just looking at this drum. Don't you think it's a fine, huge, magnificent drum? Well, it's all right for a medium-sized kind of drum. Medium-sized? You ridiculous creature. Don't you know this is the biggest, the best drum in the entire jungle? Well, said Achi Cherry, I heard Naomi's got a bigger drum. What, said Osable? Oh, yes, it's so big he can climb right inside it and not one bit of him sticks out. Well, I can climb right inside mine, said Osable. Just watch. Osable began to squeeze himself into the drum. Am I inside, Archie Jerry? No, not nearly, Osebo. <laughs> no, Archie Jerry. No, not quite, Osebo. <laughs> no, Archie Jerry. Yes, Osebo, now you're inside, but you can't get out. And Archie Jerry sealed the drum with a large cooking pot. Now I'm going to take you to Naomi the Sky God. Slowly, Archie Jerry pushed. The enormous drum with the heavy leopard inside him all the way to Naomi. Here is Osebo's drum, and Osebo is inside. Well done, said Naomi. No one else could get the drum. And you have taught that boastful leopard a lesson. Let him go now and decide what you would like as your reward. Archie Cherry looked around. All the other animals were looking jealous and cross. She thought for a moment. Please, Naomi, she said. Most of all, I would like a hard shell to protect me from fierce animals. Naomi laughed <laughs> and gave her a tough, hard shell. And Archie Cherry, the tortoise, still wears it today. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed our West African folktale. I want to show you one more thing. And I have another drum that's from West Africa. And this one is called a talking drum. Now, if you look at it, you'll see that there are strings on the side of it. 
The strings aren't what makes the sound. You still hit the top of the drum, but your hand goes around the strings. And when you pull the strings tight, it changes the sound of the drum. Listen. You hear how it gets a little higher and then a little lower? That's called pitch in music. So when you pull the strings, it makes the top, the head of the drum, tighter, and it makes it a higher pitch. And it's called a talking drum. So it doesn't talk with real words. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? But um, you can change uh, the sound of it while you play it. And I can't wait for you to be back in my classroom one of these days and you get to play this and you get to play my djembe. Um, it's going to be so much fun. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Oh, one more thing. Um, I want you to go back to my Bitmoji classroom page and there is... I have a picture of a djembe drum. Go ahead and click on it and you'll actually see a professional djembe drum player playing it. I'm not a professional uh, djembe player, uh, but you'll get to see one if you click on that. And also I have another interesting instrument called a log drum that is also from Africa. Uh, guess what a log drum is made out of? If you said a log, you're right. It's made out of a hollowed out log that you play with sticks. And um, you can see some professional musicians play some log drums. I think it's really cool. I think you're going to like it. I hope you are having a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.